Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, we can all carry the power of God to bless people. Since uh, today I'll talk about experience God evangelism. When I experienced the Holy Spirit when the evangelist lay hand on me in 1998. As I said, I immediately experienced power like electricity and love fill my heart. And, I, and my image of God changed a lot after that. Then I realized that I can experience God and people can experience God. And after that experience, I spent a lot of time praying. And just a kioma. And just a, a few days, maybe three days later. Baada ya siku tatu. One of my church members asked me to lay hand on her. Moja wa washiriki wa kanisa lao akamu akamsi amwetelem kono. To drive out demons. Ili kufukuza mapepo. She said as she went to that, I took a number of members to go to that meeting. Na akachukua baadhi ya washiriki akaenda nao katika huo mkutano. And in the meeting the the minister prayed for the people and many people got healed and also demons driven out. Na katika mkutano ule mtumishi wa Mungu akaombea watu na mapepo mengi yakatoka ndani mwao. Then I asked her, why didn't you go out in the meeting to have the demons driven out? Akauliza kwa nini haukuenda nje ili mapepo yapate kutolewa ndani mwao? And she says she was afraid. Akasema alikuwa na uoga. And so I I was in a way, you know, I, I, I didn't know I can start praying for people right away. So I lay hand on her and drive out demons from her. And then she says she felt power going through her body. And she felt power coming out some some you know demonic power coming out from her fingers yule dada akawa na hisi nguvu za giza ama za shetani zikimtoka ndani mwake that experience opened my eyes na hiyo juzi ikafungua macho yake we don't have to wait for a long time before we can serve in the power of the holy spirit ah tutakani tungojea kwa muda mrefu pasipo kuhudumu chini ya nguvu za roho mtakatifu and then I start praying for members of my church. And two members cry for one hour when I pray for them. And they said they had, you know, they have been hurt before. And then and then in the prayer they experience the love of God. Na katika maombi wakahisi nguvu za Mungu, ah upendo wa Mungu. And 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 then they said that you know that all the hurt feelings came out. Na that all the hurt feelings in their life from the past came out. Okay, yale maisha yaliyokuwa zamani yakawatoka wale wa ndugu ama wale wa dada. And they feel the light change. Na wakasikia maisha yanabadilika. And this happened many, many times over after that. I, I'm one person God has given me courage. I was not afraid to pray for different people. And then I kept seeing miracles. Like uh, one time I went to a church to pray for the uh, to preach and then pray for the people. Siku moja akaenda kanisani akahubiri na akawaambia watu and I asked them did you experience anything? And I asked them did they experience okay. anything? Okay. Na akawauliza je mmehisi nini wakati nilipokuwa nikihubiri na nikiwaombea? And one woman jumped up. Na mama moja akaruka juu, kasimuka and said her 
so the, uh, the back pain is healed. And then the woman jumped up. And she said her shoulder pain was healed. It opened my eyes. God performed miracles today. Because I was in the traditional church before. And the church never talked about miracles. And so I never thought miracles would be possible. But in that meeting, God opens my eyes that miracles, miracles can follow us. And, you know, after that, I prayed for many people and... All kinds, there are all kinds of healings. I want to say is you can have this power too. Don't think that it is impossible. One time I prayed for a woman with breast cancer. And she had, she said she has pain over a month. And the doctor examined her body. And says she has cancer. And I, and and she came a long way when she heard that I was leading a meeting. And she was willing to be very free in the prayer. It's very important to be very free and open in the prayer. I have prayed for people and I've seen people, they just, you know, they're very passive. And they just wait and see what happens. And usually in this condition, it's very hard for them to experience the power of God. But this woman was very open. When I told her to cry out to God, and she was willing to cry out to God, hallelujah. I told her to relax her body and move her body. And this helped the person to be open. And I, I let, let her in a prayer for a long time. And she was willing to follow the prayer. At one point, she suddenly started to laugh in the power of the Holy Spirit. That the joy just flow out. Something like this. <laughs> And then she told me afterwards. She said she in the prayer she felt a dark power leaving her body. When the dark dark power left her, she felt joy. And then she was filled with the joy of the Lord. And after that, she found that she had no pain. And then she went home to have the, her body examined. And the doctor said the cancer is gone. Amen. So I want to say, have faith that God is very real today. But be willing to open your heart. And believe that God is loving us. God wants to bless us. So in a prayer, don't think about other things, don't worry. Just think about God blessing us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the video see him too. Mm.
Can you see both of us? Yeah. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. when people are open, the power of God will come strong upon them. One time I prayed for the daughter of a pastor. When I pray, I, I noticed that her body was moving. With the power of the Holy Spirit. You know the Bible has talked about like John in Revelation 117. So you write down, you don't, to, you don't have to look for it. When he saw the glorified Jesus, he fell down like a dead man. And also saw when he saw the glorified Jesus. He also fell down. And then, and then he experienced change in his life. And he believed in Jesus. So in the strong presence of God, people can fall down. When the power is not so strong, when you are open, you might feel power pushing your body. It's a steady power. This came from God. How many of you have experienced this? When you pray, you, you feel your body moving. How many of you have experienced that? So when you experience that, open your heart more and say, God is blessing me now. I thank God for the love. And when you, when you open your heart, His power will come stronger. Like for myself, if I open my heart more, I will not be able to stand firm. Because I have prayed for a long time, I've trained myself how to open my heart. And then this daughter of the minister, she was swaying under the power of God. Uh, okay, huyu msichana wa huduma alikuwa chini ya nguvu za Mungu. But she did not want to fall down so she resist. Na hakutaka kuanguka chini akawa anajikaza ama hataki eh anajizuia right. And later she share that she did not want to fall down. Na baadaye akasema sikutaka kuanguka chini. But I told her, you know, relax and let God do his work. And then she submitted. And then she fell down on the, on the floor. And she started crying. And speaking in tongue. And she stayed down for Maybe one and a half hours. And later she said she, she was taken to heaven. And she saw Jesus. And Jesus took out the burdens in her heart. And then she was filled with the joy of the Lord. Now this is one experience of one person who opened up herself. And experienced the power of God more. I hope you all hunger for God. You know, I'm a pastor, I'm a trainer of, of minister. Training? Wataini. Yeah. Anawataini. Anawataini wa wachungaji. 
Now when I go to meetings, napoenda kwa mikutano, I don't mind falling down. Ah, I don't mind laughing in the Lord. I don't mind crying in the Lord. When I was touched by the love of God, I'm totally open. And when I pray myself, my heart is totally free. <laughs> and the joy will keep coming into my heart. I go for relaxing my whole person. So I will not resist the work of God. Now when I go to different places, I have all kind of all kinds of experience. I have prayed for one, you know, I have prayed for strangers I did not know. And one person prayed for her in a hospital. She was she was not hospitalized, she was visiting someone. Na alikuwa katika hospitali kama amemtembelea mgonjwa. And then, and then when I prayed for her, she started to have the joy of the Lord. It was in a public place. Next to the elevator. Next to the elevator. You know, elevator you push and go to upstairs. You know, okay. That. So this way we call it. Uh, Whatever. No, we call it lift. Yeah, lift. We call it lift. Okay. And, and people were walking in and out of the, of the lift. What was going on the lift? But she was filled with the joy of the Lord and she started laughing. <laughs> and she laughed for five minutes. And then she started to cry. And the way she cried was, you know, she was crying in a very sad way. It was like this. Ah! Ah! And she cried for about 20 minutes. And then she was filled with the joy of the Lord again. And she told me what happened. She said since her childhood she has been hurt by many people. She had felt very unhappy. And in that prayer she felt that you know, that all the sadness came out. And she felt she was set free. She felt she was set free. And now she's a missionary. Amen. Now, she started to come to my church and then later she studied for ministry. What I want to say is, we carry the power of God to bless people and change people's life. Amen. Another young man, and a young man yeah. I pray for, and he was willing to come to my meetings for, you know, continuously. Because he saw people experience the joy of the Lord. And then one day he started to speak in tongue and experience the joy of the Lord. And he spoke in tongue for a long time. And he was filled with the joy of the Lord. And now he's a pastor. What I'm saying, we carry the power of Almighty God we can bring people to Jesus. We can change people's life. If we are willing to put down our pride. Then we don't mind to experience the Holy Spirit powerfully. And then you can bring people to Jesus by praying for them. 
Now let me tell you, share with you my experience of how to bring people to Jesus. And talk well is there with a muda ama ujuzi ambao ujinzi ya kualeta watu kwa Yesu. After I experienced the Holy Spirit, I prayed for all kinds of people who come came into my church. Baada ya kuhisi nguvu za Bwana anakuta watu tofauti wakikuja kanisani mwake akiwaombe. And I noticed that when I lay hand on them, I felt power between my finger and the body. Na anapo amehisi ya kwamba ama ametambua wakati anaombea mtu kuna nguvu katikati yake kwa mwili wake na kwa vidole anapoelekeza mkono. And I asked the person what did they experience? Na anauliza mtu wajihisi namna gani? And I noticed that they experienced similar they, something similar to what I experienced. Na ana anatambua kwamba vile anavyojisikia ndivyo hivyo hiyo mtu anayeombea anajisikia. And then there were non-Christians who came into the church. Na wale ambao sio yaani non-Christian mtu ambaye hajaokoka anakuja kanisani. And I pray for them. Na anawaombea. And I ask them what they experience. Na anawauliza umejihisi namna gani? And then they said experience peace. Ah wanasema nasikia amani, nahisi amani. Quietness. Nasikia to live. And some people said they feel like they go to they went to heaven. Wengine wanajihisi wameenda mbinguni. And some people experience burdens go away. Wengine wanahisi yani shida zikienda. Or joy of the Lord. Ama afraa ya Bwana. One time I pray for a non-Christian whose husband has died. Siku moja akaombea yule ambaye hakuwa ameokoka na mume wake alikuwa amekufa. And she was very sad. Na alikuwa na husuni sana. But after the prayer she was filled with joy. Na baada ya kumwombea akasikia furaha. And she was laughing. Na akawa anacheka. This has happened to me many many times. Hii imetendeka katika maisha yake mara mara nyingi. And then I told the person, God has worked in your life. Na akaambia yule mama, Mungu ametembea katika maisha yako. If you have experienced this in this prayer, ikiwa umehisi haya katika maombi haya, that means God is loving you and blessing you. Hiyo inamaanisha Mungu anakupenda na anakubariki. Do you want God to continue bless you? Je, unataka Mungu aendelee kukubariki? And if the person says, "Yes, I'm willing." Na ikiwa mtu atasema ndio, ninakubali. Then I'll lead him in a prayer to accept Jesus as his savior. Na nitamuongoza katika toba ili akubali Yesu Kristo kuwa Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yake. Wale wanalala unashikashika mwenzako. And that's how I start to lead people to Christ by praying for them. Hivyo ndivyo naelekeza watu kwa Bwana. And I train people too to do that. Na amefunza watu kufanya hayo. Now let me share with you one experience of leading someone to Christ. Sasa nataka kuelezea vile unaweza kuelekeza mtu kwa Kristo Yesu. I went to a church to do training. Alienda kwa kanisa kufunza hayo mafundisho. And one man who was dressed up very nicely. Na kulikuwa na mtu ambaye alikuwa amejifalisha amevaa sanifu. I, when I look at that clothing, I know that this man is a rich man. Alipoangalia mavazi yake kaijua huyu mtu ni tajiri. And I would think someone like him would be very hard to accept Jesus. Na akasema aka kwa mawazo yake akamwambia mtu kama huyu kumkubali Yesu ni ngumu. But in that meeting I ask people, how many of you are non-Christians? Na katika mkutano akauliza nani kwa mkutano nani hawajaokoka? And I pray for each one of the non-Christian first. Na alikuwa anaombea kila mmoja ambaye hakuwa ameokoka, including that man. Na pia na ule aliyekuwa amevaa vizuri yule tajiri. And when I pray for him, na lipo muombe, he started to cry. Akaanza kutoa machozi. And he said I felt power go through my body. Akasema na hisi nguvu sikiingia ndani ya mwili wangu. I felt the love of God. Nasikia upendo wa Mungu. And then I said God has blessed you like that. Na 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 akamwambia Mungu anakubariki hivyo. Are you willing to believe in Jesus? Je, unakubali kumpokea Kristo Yesu? And he was willing. Na alikuwa anahitaji hilo. In that meeting every of the non-Christian were brought to Jesus. Eh katika huo mkutano kila mtu ambaye hakuwa ameokoka akampokea Kristo Yesu. I pray for people on the street. Now anaombea watu kwa barabara za miji. I told people you can experience God. Anaambia watu unaweza kuhisi Mungu. And the people just look at me. You Now watu wanamwangalia kishangaa. That I can experience God? Ah uliza je naweza kuhisi Mungu? 
And I said, yes, you can experience the peace and the comfort and the burdens go away from God. And then the, no, don't, don't go too far forward, okay. the camera is there. Right. And then there was one woman who said, if you pray for me and I experience God, then I'll follow you. <laughs> so I prayed for her and I asked her what she experienced. And she said, I felt peace. Mm. I felt the burdens go away. I felt comfort. And then I said, are you willing to follow me now? Of course I mean to follow Jesus. And she yes. said, I have to think about that. But it, it doesn't matter. But I just do my job. I have prayed for many people even on the street and lead them to Jesus. What I want to say is God has promised that miracles will follow those who believe. Let me ask you, do you believe that miracles can follow you? Can, can you raise your hand if you believe? Very good. Very good. Put down your hands, please. Okay. Now let me ask you a second question. How many of you have prayed for people and they experience miracles? You pray for someone and you experience the person experience miracles. Could you raise your hand? If you pray for someone and they experience miracles, raise your hand. Now I thank God for the few of you. Now, how come the rest don't raise their hands? One big reason. People just are not willing to pray for other people. Especially non Christians. Or someone who is sick. Most people will say, Can I pray for the person to be healed? Now, I cannot promise people they can be healed. But I'll tell people, most people I pray for, they get very comfortable. And I did. And I saw many people changed by God. One time in a hospital, I saw a stranger. And I asked him how he was. He said, I have much pain. He said, I have cancer. I'm going through chemotherapy. chemotherapy. My whole body is in pain. I said, I pray for many people. And many people feel comfort to the body. Do you like me to pray for you? And he said, yes. And I pray for him. And afterwards, I asked him how, what he experienced. He said, I felt comfort to my body. I don't feel the pain. So I led him to Jesus. And I taught him how to pray. Now that was the first time and the last time I saw him. But a few months later, a, a woman called me. She's not a mama, it's a young woman. Okay, my <laughs> mama is young. Okay. And she said, and she said, you have prayed for my father in the hospital. And he felt comfort. 
And then he came home and he had pain again. Na alipofika nyumbani tena akasikia ule uchungu. And then he prayed the same way you taught him. Na akaomba vile ulipomwelekeza. And then he felt comfort again. Na akasikia tena amani. And then he said, na akasema, Jesus really works. Akasema Yesu kweli kweli anafanya. And then he was willing to believe in Jesus. Na akaendelea kuamini katika Yesu. Now he did die. Hakufa. And a daughter found my card. Hello? Found my card. My you know business card. Okay, akapeana kadi yake ya mawasiliano. So she called me up. Na akamuita. She asked me to do the funeral for her father. Na akamuita enda afanye yani azike baba yake. And I said I can pray for you on the phone. Akasema naweza kuombea katika simu. Your father has experienced the healing of God. Na baba yako amehisi uponyaji wa Mungu. And you can experience him too. Na wewe pia unaweza pokea. Now she has another sister together with her. Na alikuwa na dada yake mwingine. And I said you can use the speaker phone and I pray for both of you. Na akasema kwamba unaweza tumia upande wa mawasiliano ambayo ina sauti na naombea nyinyi wote. And after the prayer I asked them what they experienced. Na baada ya maombi akauliza mmehisi namna gani. And one of them said my body felt like floating up to heaven. Na mmoja wao akasema eh nimejihisi ni kama kwamba mwili wangu unaenda mbinguni. And the other sister also said my body felt like floating up to heaven. Na mwingine tena pia akasema eh mwili wangu nasikia ukinulia kwenda mbinguni. And I asked them if they were willing to believe in Jesus. Na akawauliza je mnakubali kumpokea Kristo Yesu? And they were willing. Na walikuwa tayari kumpokea Kristo. And they later joined my church. Na baadaye wakajiunga na kanisa lake. And they were baptized there. Now, wa, wa, baadae wakabatizwa pia. Now, I have all kinds of stories like this. Ana uh, hadithi nyingi za aina tofauti. I want to tell you that you can carry this power of God. Na anataka kukuelezea wewe pia unaweza kubeba hizi nguvu. And you can train people in your church. Na unaweza pia kufanya wanafunzi katika kanisa lako. And then they can go and pray for the friends. Na wanaweza kuenda wakiombea marafiki zao. And they can lead people to Christ. Na wanaweza kuongoza wenzao kwa toba ya Kristo Yesu. And your church will grow greatly. Na kanisa lako litakuwa haraka sana. Now I will go through some Bible verses to tell you the biblical support. Ataenda kwa nakili za Biblia ambazo zitakuwa zi zina zinaunganisha ama zinakubaliana na haya anayesungumzia Okay another experience of mine is from my one of my church members Eh uh, mwingine uh, ni wa mmoja wa washiriki wake Because in the church there were so many miracles Kwa sababu kanisani kulikuwa na ishara nyingi ama miujiza mingi And she told me her mother is very sick Na akasema mama yangu ni mgonjwa That she has heart attack Na ako na ugonjwa wa moyo diabetes akona wanyo uh, sukari and the kidney failure uh, alikuwa na shida ya figo so she, the doctor said she would die in a few and months and the akasema atakufa <laughs> and then she said can you go and pray for my mother na akamuuliza akamhisi akamsi twende uombe mama yangu i went to pray for the mother akaenda akamuombea mama yake and asked her what she experienced Na akamuuliza umejihisi namna gani? And then she said, na akasema, I felt comfort to my body. Nasikia furaha ama amani katika mwili wangu. And then I said, are you willing to believe in Jesus? Na nikamuuliza je, unahisi una unaweza kupenda kumpokea Kristo Yesu? She said, no. Akasema, hapana. She said because she worship Buddha. Eh kwa sababu anaabudu Buddha ni Mungu mwingine, Nyungu. She doesn't she didn't want to work, uh, believe in Jesus. Hataki kuamini Yesu. I went to visit her a number of times. Na alienda kumtembelea kwa siku nyingi akirudia rudia. And I prayed for her family members. Na alikuwa anaombea ile jamii yote. And all of them experienced the Holy Spirit. Na wote wakahisi roho mtakatifu. And the family members were willing to accept Jesus. Na watu wa jamii wa familia wakawa tayari kumpokea Kristo. But she was not willing. Na yeye mwenyewe hakuwa anakubali. And I stopped visiting her after a while because I was too busy. Uh, uh, but one day, half a year later, now, the daughter called me 
Msichana wake ama bibi yake akampigia simu kuja uombe mama. I said what happened? Akauliza nini kinatendeka? She said my mother asked you to come. Eh akasema mama amesema ukuje. I said she did not want to believe her. how come she wants to come now. Mama ananihitaji namna gani na hakutaka kumpokea Kristo. And I asked that mother na akauliza mama. The mother said I felt comfortable when you prayed for me before. Akasema na nilikuwa nikihisi amani wakati uliniombea. On that day she just suddenly thought of me. She suddenly thought of me on that day. Okay, kwa hiyo siku akakumbuka kumkumbuka. And she said to her daughter, na akasema kwa bibi wake, How come pastor you did not come today? Inakwaje pastor hakutokezea leo? I have not gone for half a year. Eh sijamuona kwa nusu ya mwaka. But she suddenly the memory came back to her. Lakini eh, akaona ile kumbukumbu. And then she asked for me. Na akauliza, that is a miracle. Na ni mujiza. because that was the last day she was totally conscious. Na hiyo ndio siku ambayo alikuwa ka hali ambayo haikuwa nzuri. After that day she part of this began to be in deep sleep. Eh baada hiyo akaanza kuwa katika usingizi msitu. And then when I prayed for her, na alipomwombea, I asked her what she experienced. Na akamuuliza nini unahisi? She said now I don't feel the pain, I feel great comfort. Na anasema sasa sikii uchungu nasikia amani. And I asked her are you willing I asked her this, did Buddha do this to you? Akamuuliza je, Buddha miungu ashakufanyia hivi? She said no. Akasema hapana. Then I said, do you want to believe in the real God or the, you know, or the false God? And then she said, I want to believe in the real God. Amen. So I led her to believe in Jesus. And I baptized her. And also I asked her, do you have this idol? on the wall. Akamuuliza kuna hizi sanamu kwa ukuta. Do you want me to take them down? Je, nataka nizifue fue zitoke kwa ukuta? And she said, Good. "Okay." Akasema ndio ni. And the daughter said, the next day she told her children and grandchildren. Eh, na msichana wake akasema aliambiwa jukuu na watoto wake, "Believe in Jesus. Jesus is good. Amini ndani ya Yesu. Yesu ni mzuri." And then also one night. Na siku moja usiku. In the middle of the night, katikati ya usiku, she suddenly opened her eyes, alifungua macho yake, and looked from one side of the ceiling to the other side. Na akaangalia juu ya paa ya nyumba, and she was smiling. Na alikuwa na tabasamu, and the daughter was shocked. Na msichana wake akawa anashangaa because She has not talked much for over, you know, for a long time. And she has not laughed for a long time. But that night she looked to the ceiling. And she was smiling. The daughter felt very happy. Msichana wake akawa anasikia vizuri sana akiwa na furaha. And the daughter believed that she must have seen heaven or angels or Jesus. Na msichana wake aliamini ya kwamba lazima amemuona ameona pingu ama ameona malaika ama ameona Yesu. And many of her family members believe in Jesus. Na wengi wa jamii yake wakamkubali Kristo Yesu. One of them even studied for ministry. Hata mwingine akaanza kusomea masomo ya ya kibiblia. What I want to say is this is my life. Uh, kila nataka kusema kwamba haya ni maisha yake, haya ni maisha ya Ukristo. I see miracles all the time. Anaona miujiza kila wakati. But Jesus said miracles will follow those who believe. Lakini miujiza ya Yesu inaenda kwa wale wanaoamini. Would you want to have miracles? Je, unataka upokee miujiza ya Yesu? Would you want to bring people to Jesus? Je, unataka uombee watu kwa Kristo Yesu? So I hope you say I have you for God. Eh, 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 Anaamini kwamba utasema kwamba nina ile njaa ya Mungu. I want God to use my life. Nataka Mungu atumie maisha yangu. I don't want to waste my life. Taki kuharibu maisha yangu. I want to have fruits to bring to Jesus. Eh, 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 
na anahisi kwamba ungesema kwamba una ile haja ya kuleta matunda mbele ya Kristo. You know one day we have to see Jesus. Siku moja tunahitaji kumuona Yesu. And Jesus will ask you what have you brought to me? Na Yesu atakuuliza umeletea nini? Now in Chinese we we'll say You know if you visit someone and you have not brought anything you say I have brought two bunches of bananas. Ah kama ulitembelea mtu na umuombea utasema nimeleta viganja viwili vya maandizi. That means the fingers are the bananas. So I have brought nothing else. Sasa hizo ni dole 